Hi, I'm Francis, the host of this show, Cooking with Dog. Konnichiwa. Kyou wa tegaru ni sukiyaki ga tanoshimeru. Sukiyaki don tsukurimasu. First, let's make the sukiyaki sauce. Combine the soy sauce, sake, mirin, and raw sugar in a small pot. Heat on medium heat and occasionally stir it to dissolve the sugar. When the mixture begins to simmer, reduce the heat as the evaporated alcohol may ignite. Keep the mixture simmering for one and a half minutes. This process is called nikiri, which evaporates the alcohol from sake and mirin. After removing the alcohol, umami and sweetness will remain in the dish, making it more delicious. When you don't smell any alcohol, remove the pot from the heat. Place the pot in a bowl of water and let it sit to cool. Once cooled, pour the sauce into a clean bottle such as this one. Let's cut the vegetables. Cut the long green onion, also known as naganegi, into 1 cm thick slices using diagonal cuts. Remove the stem of the fresh shiitake mushroom. Cut the cap of the shiitake into 5 mm thick slices. As for the spring onion leaves, cut them into 3 cm pieces. Now, let's make the sukiyaki bowl. Heat one teaspoon of vegetable oil in a small pan. Coat the pan with the oil. Add the long onion and shiitake slices and spread them out evenly. Avoid moving the slices for a while to brown the surface. Once browned, Flip them over and brown the other side as well. Now, turn off the heat. Push the long onion and shiitake mushroom to one side to make space. Place the tofu and thin beef slices here. We recommend using beef with a moderate amount of fat since it is more tender and tastier than lean meat. Add one and a half tablespoons of the sukiyaki sauce. Turning off the heat will keep the long onion and shiitake slices from overcooking. Add one tablespoon of kombu dashi stock to prevent the sauce from being reduced too quickly. Now, turn on the burner again. Lightly loosen up the beef slices. Cover. And simmer on medium low heat for about one minute. Now remove the lid and flip the tofu over. Simmer until the redness in the meat disappears. Move the ingredients to the other side and place the egg in the broth. Add the spring onion leaves all over. When the broth is almost boiled away, the dish is ready to serve. The amount of kombu dashi stock varies slightly depending on the heat level and ingredients, so adjust it accordingly. Prepare a bowl of warm rice and place the tofu onto it. Ladle the beef, long onion, and shiitake slices on the rice. And arrange them around the tofu. By the way, Chef's vlog starts at around 5 minutes and 10 seconds in this video, so please watch it until the end. Gently scoop the egg with a ladle so as not to break the yolk, and place it in the center. Garnish with beni shoga, pickled ginger to taste. It looks so delicious. If you like it with more sauce, Pour the remaining broth over it. Serving as a rice bowl allows you to enjoy sukiyaki at any time without any hassle. 
if you have the sukiyaki sauce always ready on hand. This dish can be made quickly and tastes great even when you don't have much time. Of course, the sukiyaki sauce can be used for regular sukiyaki as well. Good luck in the kitchen! ジンジャクプロイン近くの十円別館に行ってます。名物の水餃子いただきます。こちらのお店はベキンフ中華料理の老舗でベキンダック小籠包などを本格的なお料理がいただけるそうです。お昼には手頃なお値段のランチがあります